First, breaking news on the weather. Strong storms have left a line of damage stretching from the East Bay to South County. And we've been getting video from our crews and Eyewitness News viewers. Eva Schaffman sent us this video through reported showing the heavy wind-driven rain on Aquinnick Island in Middletown as the storm moved through. And Barry Patello sent us this video showing flooding along Easton's Beach in Newport. He says cars were being turned away because of downed power lines. And this picture comes to us from Kevin Quincy showing a tree down on Maple Avenue near the Newport, uh, Newport Middletown line. We're also getting reports of damage in the West Bay. Moving to Cranston now, where firefighters were called to a house on Malden Street that was reportedly struck by lightning this afternoon. No word yet on the extent of the damage here. And trees down in Narragansett as well. That's where we find Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Lafshuto live with an update. Well, if you were anywhere in the area of Ocean Road here in Narragansett in the last hour or so, you'd see a lot of this. Lots of trees down, big and small. Now, crews are starting to clean that up now, but there is just a lot. Mother Nature made quite her mark here in this neighborhood. Here's a video of some of the damage here in this area that we took in the last hour or two. Neighbors describe sideways rain that left its mark. Crazy winds all happening fast and quick. We met a woman who took us through her property. She had a greenhouse that was damaged after a after a tree came crashing down on it. She tells us not even Superstorm Sandy did this damage to her. That's why I, I just think it was. And then obviously see that? Yeah. And the tree is just completely gone. But it just did this little swath of area. It got all the glass in the greenhouse is on this side. We're going to have to clear out at least to get down the driveway. Um, it will. That's definitely an expensive task. It costs quite a bit to to uh, get trees off property, so it'll take some work. Now, the two women you just heard from are mother and daughter. I'm actually standing in their driveway right now. We saw them trying to clean this all up just a bit ago. They were just really, really shocked that all this happened so quick. But thankfully, everyone here in this immediate area is okay tonight. They just have a lot of cleanup ahead of them. We're live in Narragansett. I'm Sheena Loshudo, Eyewitness News.